ISRO chief has said to news agency ENI that Vikram Lander has been located. It has been uh, traced. The exact location has been sent by the orbiter and um, it is on the lunar surface and the orbiter has clicked a thermal image of the lander but there is no communication yet and ISRO is trying to establish a contact and it will be communicated soon. This is uh, breaking news coming uh, in uh, at this hour at 2 p.m. ISRO chief has said to uh, news agency NI saying that the Vikram lander has been located on the lunar surface and um, it, they have also said that the orbiter has clicked a thermal image of the lander but there is no communication at this point of time. Dr. Sivan is saying that ISRO is trying to have a contact and it will be communicated soon. Now, this is some good news coming after uh, the communication was lost uh, on the early hours uh, two days ago when the lander uh, strayed off the path uh, of its trajectory and communication was lost uh, from the ground uh, station in um, ISRO and let us go to NDTV science editor Pallav Bagla for more on this. Uh, Pallav, uh, the ISRO chief has, has spoken to a, uh, news agency in ANI and they have said that the orbiter has taken a thermal image and it has been located, the lander has been located. Can you come again? There was a lot of noise here. Pallav, the ISRO chief has spoken to a news agency ANI saying that the lander has been located on the lunar surface. Well, the ANI news service is reporting that the Vikram lander has been found in a thermal image taken by India's Chandrayaan 2 orbiter. Uh, I am not getting any direct confirmation from ISRO or from people who understand this business from inside. Uh, if, uh, if the Vikram lander has been found, it is very good news. At least we know what the location of the lander is. Uh, but the key point would be whether it is communicating or not. Uh, right. And, and the ANI flash says that they have no communication with the lander itself, but that we've been able, as ANI says, that we have been able to locate the lander, so I think is one step forward in trying to understand uh, what went wrong on that night of uh, September 7th. Right, Palla, that is very important information indeed uh, that we that India would like to uh, know of what exactly went wrong. Thank you very much, Palla Pagla, for that update. And as uh, ISRO chief has spoken to news agency ANI and he has said that the orbiter uh, Chandrayaan 2 has taken a thermal image of uh, the lunar surface and it has been able to it has been able to locate Chandrayaan uh, Vikram lander which uh, where we lost contact two days ago in the early hours when it was supposed to uh, where it attempted to make that soft landing. Let us go back to Pallav Bagla. Pallav of course uh, this information of what went wrong I mean the understanding of this could be key uh, you know to kind of uh, use that information um, uh, and uh, you know going in, going in future going forth. Oh, certainly. See, the way the Indian Space Research Organization works, when something goes wrong, they go about clinically doing a post-mortem to try and figure out what went wrong. And even in this case of the Vikram lander, when it failed uh, 2.1 kilometers above the lunar surface, the Indian Space Research Organization said they are analyzing the data. So once the data analysis is done, I'm sure they will come out with a finding and then they will correct and I'm sure they will bounce back. Uh, this is not the last time India has sent a lander to the moon. Absolutely. And we will have another opportunity sometime soon, but obviously only after correcting what has gone wrong.